Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I apologize for taking so long in between videos lately, but life has just been pretty hectic. I got sick for a few weeks, which then put me behind in school and I feel like I've been barely keeping myself afloat the last couple of months. But the semester is going to be ending in just a few short weeks and that means I will have a lot more free time for creating and making videos and I'm really excited to have this time of rest after a very, very rigorous semester. Something fun that I've been doing recently is getting into commonplacing and memory keeping. I showed you all my analog setup for note taking for school, but I recently abandoned that plan and for a while I took a brief exploration into digital note taking which worked well enough, but I was I missed having my analog notebooks. And so I simplified my system, but I've also added a commonplace journal where I can put photos, jot down ideas, practice a little bit of poetry, even keep track of art inspiration that I come across for using for paintings later on. I would love to show you all my setup and I'm working on planning a new video to show you what notebooks I'm using and how I'm using them. Something that's really fun about commonplacing is finding all these really cool stationary items. I love a vintage look to my pages and this collection of ephemera, stickers, papers that I found on Amazon is really cool for that. Bear and I have been enjoying plenty of autumn walks lately. The weather is starting to get cooler though, and I'm looking forward to the day when we get our first snow. We've already had frost, and so our fall color didn't last as long as I would have hoped. Everything has kind of gone dull and gray pretty quickly, but there's still little bits of beauty to be seen if one has the eye to pay attention to them. Something exciting um, that I recently purchased is a new camera. My previous camera was getting pretty old and not working as consistently as it should, but this new camera that I have makes autofocus and filming myself so much easier, and it's been a lot of fun playing around with it. I use Fujifilm, and I've stayed with Fujifilm for this next camera body, and it has been a joy to use. It's been exciting to see how it's boosted my creativity and inspired new ideas. I have something very exciting to share with you all, and it's a mini art haul from Jackson's. But what makes this really exciting is that it was purchased with my very first commission that I made by having you all purchase things through my affiliate link in the description below. So all of these feel like a gift from you all to me, and I am so grateful for your support in this way. And I just had to share with you the colors that I chose. I wanted to add a few very moody, and wintry colors to my palette. A lot of my colors right now are very autumnal and bright, and these are gonna be perfect for more wintry, peaceful scenes. I've never used Roman Schmal before, and I was eager to try a few of these highly popular colors that seem to keep popping up on different artists' channels, and I can't wait to show you all the piece that I painted with them. I think it's going to be the perfect palette for wintertime. The colors I chose are Lapis Lazuli, Shadow Violet, and Vivianite. I also added Rare Green Earth by Daniel Smith for a softer and gentler green. Each of these colors are granulating, so when you mix them together, you almost get a super granulation effect, which is a lot of fun. Since I did add new colors, I needed to get a bigger palette. I just purchased the same one, but with four rows instead of three, so it was easy to make the transition from my old one to my new one. I'll still keep the old one because it's nice to have different sizes as my color palette grows or shrinks depending on what my 
what my needs are and what colors are inspiring me, but I'm excited to be able to add new paints for wintertime. So the piece that I am painting today is inspired by one of my favorite musical albums for this time of year. It's December by George Winston. It's the perfect album for that transition from Thanksgiving into Christmas season. It, even the first song on the, on the album is called Thanksgiving. But it's such, a, it's such a nostalgic album for me. It's one that I grew up hearing every Christmas. And so it brings back a lot of really sweet memories. This particular piece was inspired by the way I feel when I listen to it. That, that somber but also joyful, peaceful quiet of wintertime. After such a busy semester, I'm really craving that peace that wintertime brings, that forced rest, if you will, and the quiet of cozy evenings where the days are shorter and the nights are colder and you're just drawn indoors. I love lighting candles during this time of year. I can't wait to get my Christmas tree out because it just makes my living room feel so peaceful and cozy. I'll have to film decorating for Christmas because I have a few a few small new items that I've added to my collection and I can't wait to see how it all looks when put together. So the background for this piece was a mixture of lapis lazuli and shadow violet. It makes for the perfect snowy, wintry, frosty feeling that you get sometimes in the woods around here. I gradually added more and more pigment as I moved closer and closer to the foreground and I also started switching from the blue and the purple to the Vivianite and the um, rare green earth, bringing a little bit more green and warmth to those foreground trees. I feel like these four colors are the perfect combination for a soft and gentle wintry vibe while also still bringing some brightness to the artwork. Wherever you are, I hope you all are having a lovely day or night, and I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving. I will see you next time. Bye.